our perceptions shape our reality, much like a painter's brushstrokes define a landscape. The ancient philosopher Heraclitus once remarked, No man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river, and he's not the same man. This encapsulates the ever-changing nature of reality and our interaction with it. Our perceptions, constantly molded by our thoughts and feelings, create the tapestry of our experiences. The quantum realm, a domain of endless possibilities, teaches us that the observer plays a crucial role in the manifestation of reality. Just as the observer in quantum experiments influences the outcome, our conscious and subconscious beliefs and feelings shape the world we experience. Shape the world we... This aligns with the teachings of Jesus in the Bible, where faith and belief hold the power to move mountains. Matthew 17, verse 20. Our internal state, therefore, is a potent force in the creation of our external world. Neville Goddard, an insightful mystic, underscored the immense influence of imagination and emotion in molding our personal world. He posited that the environment we encounter daily is essentially a mirror reflecting our inner state. By synchronizing our emotions and convictions with our aspirations, we effectively extend an invitation for these desires to manifest in our reality. This philosophy harmonizes with the age-old hermetic axiom, as above, so below, as within, so without, underscoring the profound mirroring effect between our internal landscape and the external world. Goddard's teachings suggest that our imagination is not a mere escape from reality, but a powerful tool for creating it. He invites us to envision our desires as already fulfilled, feeling the reality of that state in the present moment. This practice isn't about wishful thinking, but about cultivating a state of being that resonates with the experiences we wish to attract. It's about aligning our vibrational frequency with that of our desired outcomes. This alignment is not a passive process, but an active engagement with the fabric of our lives. By consciously directing our feelings and beliefs, we weave the tapestry of our experiences. The external world, in this view, is a canvas on which the colors and patterns of our inner world are projected. Our joys, fears, hopes, and doubts find expression in the circumstances and events we encounter. The resonance with the hermetic principle further deepens the understanding of this concept. As above, so below, as within, so without speaks to the microcosm and macrocosm's interconnected nature. It implies that the universe outside of us is not separate from the universe within us. Our thoughts and feelings are not confined to the realm of our personal psyche, but extend outwards, influencing the shape and texture of our external experiences. By embracing this principle, we acknowledge our role as co-creators in the universe. We understand that by transforming our inner world, we are, in turn, transforming our outer world. This realization empowers us to take responsibility for our experiences and approach life with a sense of purpose and intention. In practice, this means approaching our daily lives with a heightened awareness of our thoughts and feelings. It means observing the patterns of our inner world and understanding how they are reflected in the world around us. It means cultivating positive emotions and beliefs, not just as a means to an end, but as a way of being that naturally attracts experiences that resonate with those states. Cultivating a state of conscious awareness equips us to move through the varying rhythms of life with a poised and tranquil demeanor. The Buddhist doctrine of mindfulness, which advocates for complete presence and non-judgmental awareness, empowers us to witness our thoughts and emotions without succumbing to their sway. This 
elevated state of consciousness, serves as a profound instrument for discerning the intricate link between the internal realm of our experiences and the external reality they shape. By embracing mindfulness, we learn to inhabit the present moment fully, our senses keenly attuned to the here and now. This practice allows us to observe the ebb and flow of our inner thoughts and feelings with a detached compassion, understanding them as transient waves in the ocean of our consciousness. In doing so, we prevent these internal experiences from overwhelming us or dictating our reactions to the external world. This heightened awareness brings clarity and insight, illuminating the ways in which our internal state casts ripples across the canvas of our lives. We begin to see how our inner turmoil might cloud our perception of the world, or conversely, how a serene and balanced inner life can enhance our interactions and experiences. With this understanding, we can consciously align our internal state with the outcomes we desire, navigating life's complexities with wisdom and intention. Mindfulness is more than a practice. It's a way of being. It encourages us to meet each moment with openness and curiosity, free from the constraints of past regrets and future anxieties. This way of living fosters a profound connection to the world around us enhancing our empathy and understanding and enabling us to move through life with a gentle, unforced rhythm. As we continue to cultivate this mindful awareness, we develop a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things. We recognize that we are not isolated entities but part of a larger tapestry of existence where our thoughts and actions have far-reaching implications this realization fosters a sense of responsibility and care, urging us to approach life with kindness, compassion, and a deep-seated respect for the well-being of ourselves and others. Acceptance is indeed a potent and transformative state of being. It involves embracing our present circumstances while simultaneously holding a vision for what we wish to manifest. This delicate balance bridges the gap between our current reality and our aspirations. Such a concept echoes the Taoist principle of Wu Wei, which advocates for an approach to life that is characterized by natural ease and alignment with the fundamental rhythms of the universe. This philosophy suggests that by understanding and working with the natural order of things, rather than against it, we can achieve our goals with grace and efficiency. Acceptance, in this context, is far from passive resignation. It's an active recognition of the current state of affairs as the foundation upon which we can build our desired future. It's about acknowledging the truth of the moment, with all its limitations and possibilities, and using that as a launchpad for growth and transformation. By accepting what is, we free ourselves from the unnecessary resistance and struggle that often accompany denial and frustration. This doesn't mean giving up on our goals or surrendering our power to shape our destiny. Instead, it means recognizing the present moment as an integral part of the journey toward our goals. It's understanding that the path to change is often a series of small, realistic steps rather than a single, monumental leap. The Taoist idea of doing not doing doesn't advocate for inaction, but for action that is in harmony with the natural order. It's about finding the most effective, efficient, and harmonious way to achieve our goals. This often involves understanding the deeper currents of life and aligning our actions with them so that instead of swimming against the tide, we use its power to propel us forward. In practical terms, acceptance means observing our current reality with clarity and composure, understanding its nuances and identifying the opportunities it presents. It's about making peace with the present while maintaining a clear vision of what we want to achieve. From this place of acceptance, 
we can make conscious choices and take deliberate actions that are in alignment with our goals. As we integrate acceptance into our lives, we find that our journey towards our desired future becomes less about struggle and more about flow. We become co-creators with life, working with its rhythms rather than against them. This approach doesn't just make the journey more pleasant. It often makes it more successful as we move in harmony with the forces that shape our reality. The ultimate achievement of grasping and embodying these principles lies in the seamless integration of our internal landscape with the external world around us. When the core of our being resonates in harmony with our deepest desires, the world outside mirrors this alignment in a symphony of synchronicity. This concept of oneness is exquisitely captured in the ancient wisdom of Advaita Vedanta, a cornerstone of Hindu philosophy that articulates the indivisible unity of the individual and the cosmos. In this enlightened state of non-duality, the illusion of separation between the self and the universe dissolves. We come to understand that we are not mere inhabitants of the universe, but integral components of its vast, intricate web. Every thought, feeling, and action sends vibrations through this cosmic tapestry, influencing the pattern of our existence and the reality we experience. This realization awakens us to our true potential as co-creators with the universe. We recognize that our perceptions and beliefs are not passive observations, but active ingredients in the recipe of our reality. By consciously shaping these internal elements, we wield the power to sculpt our experiences, guiding our lives towards the visions we hold in our hearts. In this harmonious state of being, the boundaries between the inner self and the outer world blur. We no longer see ourselves as solitary figures, navigating a daunting universe, but as integral parts of a grand dynamic whole. Our joys and sorrows, triumphs and trials are part of the universe's unfolding narrative. Each moment, a dance of creation with the cosmos. This unity is not a static destination, but a dynamic journey of continual growth and realization. As we deepen our understanding and refine our alignment, the dance becomes more fluid, the co-creation more conscious, and our lives more profoundly attuned to the rhythms of the universe. In embracing this path, we step into a life where every moment is an act of creation. Every thought a seed of potential, and every action a stroke on the canvas of existence. We live with the awareness that our inner state is not just a reflection of our reality, but a force that shapes it, empowering us to live with intention, purpose, and profound harmony. As we walk this path of unity, we embody the ancient wisdom of Advaita Vedanta, becoming living testaments to the power of oneness. In this state of non-duality, we find not just peace and contentment, but also a profound empowerment. We realize that we are not just observers of the universe, but active participants in its creation, capable of shaping our destiny and contributing to the evolution of all that is. This realization is both a privilege and a responsibility, calling us to live with mindfulness, compassion, and a deep reverence for the interdependent dance of life. 